I can't take it anymore. They've been at it for hours. Damn neighbors, what's going on? Robot apartments, noisy neighbors, and living in the metaverse? Today we're back at it. We're reacting to Futurama. We're looking at what real estate and housing are gonna look like in the future. But before we get into that, I'm Mark Magstead, local real estate expert here in San Diego. If you wanna learn more about real estate and tour some awesome properties, make sure you hit the subscribe button. All right, let's get into the future of New York City, where Futurama takes place. This time, you'll have all the human comforts. We'll get a couple of toilets, some food cookers, maybe a puppy. Now that you have little robots that are at the house and they're the little things, kind of like your Roomba vacuum, but they'll bring you, you know, your newspaper, they'll answer the door, they'll tell you the weather, all this good stuff. But sometimes it's a little freaky when you say, hey, Mason, go over there and grab that football. And then the next thing on your feed, all you see is footballs everywhere. So someone's listening, and I have a feeling that it's gonna get a lot more like that in the future. It's good to be home. It sure is. By the way, I saved your stuff. So that's where those skin flakes went. Hmm, you think this fruit tree's gonna get enough light? There's a window in the closet. So it's kind of funny because when you look at this tree, it's got everything on it. I mean, I have a, a, a great friend and um, he has one of those that you actually can grow lettuce and you can grow all this stuff on the inside of your house. So it's like this hydroponic type grow. Do you guys have a mini like fruit tree or lime tree or anything? Let me know in the comments below. This is huge. <laughs> he walks in the closet and that thing looks like a ridiculous studio that you would find in the La Jolla shores overlooking the ocean. I would live in that versus put my clothes in there. Bender, why don't I just live in here? In a closet? Oh, humans. So, I mean, as you're looking out the window, you have all kinds of like crazy cool stuff. There's like this big apparatus that looks like it spins around and then it looks like it might even have some sort of like a slide type thing. I have been in a house that was probably one of the coolest scenarios. It had this huge tube from the kids' third floor bedroom that dropped down into their game room onto like a bunch of pillows. I thought about getting in there, but I did not want to get stuck, but pretty cool. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. They've been at it for hours. Damn neighbors, what's going on? Give it a rest, you two. Sorry. <laughs> That's so classic. I mean, my mind, and I'm assuming most of you out there, went to something else. We've all been there. We've all been in apartments. We've all been roommates. We've all had those Friday, Saturday nights, two o'clock in the morning, that sound. Were you going to two robots playing cards? I don't think so. <laughs> I wasn't going there. Good news, everyone. Several years ago, I tried to log on to AOL and it just went through. We were online. Do you guys remember AOL? I remember when they gave you like the disc and they were giving them out. We're like, oh man, this is so cool. Look at all this free stuff. And then you'd hear this. And you're like, whoa, man, I'm connecting, I'm connecting. So all you kids out there, you don't know how easy you got it. Go ahead, get into these net suits. I designed and tested them myself. They smell like burning rhesus monkey. Really? I guess when you're around it all day, you stop noticing. You think the metaverse and all this, this, this future is gonna be all based on that? Are we just gonna be sitting around, getting a little bit bigger in the belly and having this thing on like, whoa, I'm in Hawaii, whoa, great, I'm in the Bahamas, yay. <laughs> I don't know, a little crazy to think about though. Off you go. Behold, the internet! My God, it's <laughs> full of ads. <laughs> Follow me! It's immense. It's got every piece 
piece of information anyone could ever want. These guys are flying to different destinations. How, how cool would that be? My son and I were watching Nat Geo the other night and there were some of those wingsuits where the dudes are jumping off cliffs and they're flying with these wingsuits. And I looked at Miles and I said, hey, would you do that? He's like, no, Dad, that looks terrifying. Anyway, this type of flying, I dig. I don't know about the, uh, the, the bird suit, so. So I see. <laughs> so we have virtual martial arts, we have porno. XXX, back in the day when you hopped on the internet, it was just simple searches. They were easy. They were like, hey, you know, how far is it to Japan? Or like just, just goofy stuff and they would give you an answer. And then you didn't have like 9,000 things that trail you saying, hey, want to fly to Japan? Here's a flight, here's this, here's that. Come, let me introduce you to yourself. Do you mind if your servants walk? Not at all. <laughs> we are the last remaining Cyclopses. Our planet is Cyclopia. This is the capital, Cyclops City. Stop me if I'm going too fast for you. So much information. And yet somehow, I feel as if I know it all already. I mean, so obviously you, you have the Cyclops, which one eye, alien -ish type feel. I wonder if there are aliens currently intermixing with us right now. You know, there's weird stuff that happens. There's doors that shut. There's certain things, haunted this, haunted that, alien this, alien that. What's that spot in the sky? So, I don't know. This sacred mosaic depicts our goddess of beauty. Hmm. You got any sacred artwork over from the back? There have been times that we have had open houses. There was a drawer in a very nice condo in La Jolla on the water, and there was a box of jewelry that was gone. And we can't place blame on anyone. We can't get it back. And it put us in a very, very quirky scenario. It was sad, luckily she was able to file insurance, but a lot of that stuff was irreplaceable. So if you have valuable items, just, just tuck them away. This is my home. I hope you don't think less of me because I live in a giant castle. Oh no, not at all. If anything, I'm more impressed. There are a couple properties in and around La Jolla that have ornate and unique and probably not like today's current standards, but very cool, but like high ceilings and beams and like gold leaf stuff and like 24 karat gold toilets and stuff. I don't love the style, but it's not too bad. I think I could, I think I could live there if I needed to. Ooh, I'm gonna need to make some room. <laughs> and here is where I dream my lonely dreams and cook my simple meals. It's all so sad. What happened to our people? I mean, the one thing I do like is it looks like this house has a lot of light, it's bright, you have greenery growing in and around, so it's providing great oxygen and whatnot. Man, those real estate scenes were super interesting. What do you think? Are you ready to live in the future? And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you binge watch the whole playlist. Also, don't forget to smack that subscribe button, and that way when you do, you'll let YouTube know that you like this video and you wanna watch more. Thanks for watching.